Right, weekly stock market update. And I bought a ton of stocks this week as well. So let's have a look at the data. Don't forget, part of my stock market update is the campaign for a million to teach a million people how to be better investors. Let's start off with valuations. These are PE ratios or share price relative to profitability. Green means cheap. The share price is cheap relative to the amount of profits the company generates. Look at the energy stocks. They're cheap. So are the banks. The banks have been cheap even before the Silicon Valley bank crisis. How did performance go this past week? Well, it's been strong, particularly for healthcare and for tech companies, Google, Meta, Apple, Microsoft, all of which I own. Tesla came off a bit, which I also own. Uh, Energy did well, but of course, it's based on cheaper valuation. So you feel a bit more comfortable when that's rising. Anyway, a good week overall for stocks. How then about this, which is another measure of valuation, price earnings growth, or the share price compared to growth in profits, PEG ratio, in other words. Below one means cheap, and that's only oil and gas. By the way, year to date, NASDAQ up nearly 20%. I'll come back to that screen. Don't forget, like, follow, subscribe, share, comment. Look at alpishpital.com forward slash links to get copies of my books for free. NASDAQ, the FTSE up seven, the S&P up seven, the Dow is flat. So NASDAQ's leading the way and that means the tech stocks really. Let's look at the S&P 500. It's broken from that downward trend there. It's broken out from that downward trend. We are not in that bearish market anymore. It is not a bear market rally. It is a bull market rally within its own rights, okay? So that's where we are. It's broken out. That's the direction of travel. That makes me more bullish about the market. It makes me want to buy things, which is what I've done or been doing. The FTSE, I'm not so positive about. Uh, I think it's looking continuously overbought and, well, I'm neutral at best. Apple, I've bought more and I will continue to do so. That, because it's going to do well, that's the base there of the monthly momentum. Look at how much it's fallen uh, in the past year and a bit. Okay, so it's not quite oversold, I wouldn't say, but, you know, it's it's... It's got room to move up. And as it moves up, and this is moving up, this is moving, you will be in this channel, and that should lead to greater returns. That's a base on Alphabet. It's broken from broken up from beneath that uh, downward trend. Let me draw that. That's your downward trend there. It's broken out from it. And the direction of travel looks that way. So does the monthly MACD. That way, the weekly and monthly stochastics are all pointing in the right direction as well. Microsoft, I've bought more of. Uh, that was the upward trend, which started there. We got in, well, we got in a lot earlier than that many years ago, but bought more around January of this year. And that continues in the right direction. This momentum indicator will probably do that as this is indeed done, which is, this is the weekly, that's the monthly. Amazon, nice upward trend. Look at the returns we're targeting, and we will get those. This has hit a base. That momentum will continue upwards. This momentum will continue upwards. That downward trend has been broken, which is another bullish signal. So if you want bullish signals, one, two, three, four, downward trend broken, five, upward trend in place, six, That's six bullish signals on Amazon. What more do you want? A telegram from the Pope? That's a base over there. This is taking a bit longer to move in that direction, but we're willing to wait. Uh, Not everything moves as quickly as NVIDIA has for us. That was purchased in January. If you follow my telegram channel and my YouTube channel, it's all over there, remember, and the links are on there for those channels. If you follow those, you'll know when we bought it, the exact date and amount and all the other purchases. And that's going over there. That's likely to continue. Would I buy more? It's a bit overbought. I think I've got more opportunity in some of the earlier ones I mentioned. Tesla, I said on Momentum, will do this. I said this on my weekly broadcast on YouTube, Telegram, TikTok, all the rest of it. You go up there. That's the upward trend. If you want to know where the Telegram channel is, it's alpishpatel.com forward slash links, remember. Okay, that's Tesla. It's still looking good. Do have a visit at campaignforamillion.com. That will tell you more about my campaign to teach a million people how to be better investors, whether you've got a SIP, a pension, ISA, or whether you're in your 20s, or like I say, some of my clients were in their 70s and 80s. Uh, It'll teach you how to be a better investor. And then follow me on LinkedIn, where you'll get more articles on investing as well. And you can see the link 
there for that. So I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, like I said, I have a target to teach a million people how to be better investors. And I hope you'll be one of them with lots of free tools, free books, free videos, free articles. I've converted the books you can see over my shoulder, 18 books that I've written, published by the Financial Times and so on, into these little videos to make it more educational and informative for you. Do follow me on TikTok if you want daily updates on these things. Otherwise, YouTube and uh, will give you uh, and Telegram will give you daily as well, but otherwise YouTube will give you weekly updates. Okay, thank you very much, my friends.